Godin's new transformation would shake the entire planet Earth, leaving everyone paralyzed. But what? exclaimed Gojin, backing away little by little. Why? Because this child possesses a divine key? This child should not possess such energy. Is a mere mortal, Godin raised his hand pointing to the God of Destruction. When in that, Gohan appears ahead of this launching a super blow, which the little Saiyan would stop it with a single finger. Gohan is perplexed when suddenly, Godin with his gaze would hit Gohan with hundreds of blows leaving him on the ground totally defeated. The God is shocked. Goten gives a cry of Ozaru further increasing its energy and power. This energy is evil, is full of hatred and rage. Who the hell is this mortal? Goten was in his new transformation called Super Saiyan Beast. The Saiyan raised his hand launching an attack which would increase the gravity leaving everyone on the ground except the God of Destruction that with a little effort would withstand the attack of Goten. Damn you, this is not possible. The God of Destruction would begin to increase his power. A purple aura would begin to emanate from him and in the blink of an eye, he would charge and launch a powerful attack with Hakai energy, pulverizing everything around him. However, Goten would raise his hand creating a small portal to open another portal in the god's back. This can't be happening. It's not possible. Goten in a blink of an eye would have driven his fist into the god's stomach, piercing it, making it hear blood, sending it into the mountains. Goten's power would increase more and more. Each time it would become more violent, the god would get up very furious. I will kill you. I will kill you. I will kill you. This is not possible. He gives an overwhelming scream, increasing his divine key, releasing all this Hakai energy. He would throw himself against Goten. The Saiyan would do the same, creating a great flurry of thousands of blows, making the entire universe tremble. The fight was evenly matched until Goten put his two fingers together and launched a powerful beam that would pierce the deity's arm. The god fell to the ground kneeling. However, Goten grabbed his face and smashed it against the ground, then threw him against the rocks. This is not possible. What the hell happened to him? Exclaimed the god totally defeated. While Goten was becoming more and more violent, increasing his power uncontrollably, the little Saiyan began to charge a Super Kamehameha. While the god was on the ground covered in blood, how could he do so much damage with so few blows? This cannot be happening. This cannot be happening. Where does this child come from? Goten was about to launch his attack, but suddenly Beida would appear in front of the two. What? But what? Beida would observe how everything was destroyed and all his friends on the ground very hurt. He sees Goten out of control, and to one side the defeated god, while on one side, in a room, Goku was totally destroyed. Since Daishinken's new training was very hard, this is too much. I'm very tired. Well, for today we are done. What do you think you say, Daishinken? This, this is not over yet. I can do more. Of course not. It's over now. Goku, you've managed to scratch me, and I think that's enough. For today, you've already surpassed yourself. Goku would get up little by little with his head down. Lightning was coming out of his body. Daishinken would step back a little. Goku would clench his fists while his hair would stand up. Little by little, he would turn silver. The Guzzardian was very astonished. Daishinken, it's just beginning. Goku would have obtained a new transformation, but falls to the floor detransformed by fatigue. This is surprising. I expected his Magat no Goki state to be very powerful, but not to this magnitude, and that the door of the room would open appearing Zeno-sama. Is Daishinken ready? I think he is already ready for the job. On the other hand, what the hell, Goten, what's going on here? And why do you have all this power? At that moment, Gojin and Picoro appear with their friends. Mr. Beido was that guy over there. They all pointed to the God of Destruction who would have manipulated them. Beida looks coldly at the deity. However, Goten hits Beida, sending him away. Everyone is surprised. The, the little Saiyan approached the God and from his hand created an energy sword. The God of Destruction ducked his head as he said, Yes, come closer, just come closer. I will show you what a God is capable of, Goten was. About to kill it when Gojin shouts, Goten watch out. The God would shout, Unite. The God's body would glow heading towards Goten's body. But suddenly Beida appears pushing Goten and receiving the deity's technique. So everything would start to glow. What? What is this? 
The prince of the scions falls to his knees clutching his head. Miserable, what are you trying to do? A great burst of light would appear. The god of destruction would have entered Baida's body and his power would have doubled. Looking at his hands, now I have all this power and his body, out of the rubble comes Goten in his beast state. Damn, damn, the little Saiyan throws a punch at him at full speed, but Beta quickly transforms into Super Saiyan Blue stopping his punch with one hand. Do not even think that I am the same as before. Beta gives him a headbutt along with a powerful kick in the stomach of Goten making this draw blood and go flying. But Sir Beta, what are you doing? It seems that the god from before took Beta's body. We are lost. Beida looks at Gojin and with her eyes she would launch a super air attack. This was so powerful that it would pierce Gojin's chest, knocking him to the ground. Gojin, Goten watched as his brother fell to the ground, and with a lot of fury he would throw himself against the god, but he would lose the transformation. What? But what happened? I think your time has come. Beida moved ahead of Goten grabbing him by the neck. That power you have seems very interesting, now that I have this perfect body i will absorb yours and no one can stop me the god would begin to absorb little by little goten and all his power but quickly picoro throws a ray impacting with the hand of beida making goten fall to the ground safely picoro very tired would begin to charge another super attack but beida in the blink of an eye appears in front of the namikiano you try to do piece of scum beida i know you're still there for your pride do not be defeated by this god beida has not listened to you in the least, the god grabbing the neck of Picoro would bend it killing Picoro. On the one hand Goten surprised, Sir, Sir Picoro, because Beida looks at Goten, it's your turn. And well friends, I hope you liked a lot this part of this theory. Next I will be uploading videos every 4 days or more often. I would be very grateful if you subscribe to the channel since I will be uploading too many videos after today and it would be very helpful if you could comment how you like the narration and where I should improve. I will be reading each of your comments and without more to say I say goodbye friends. Remember to watch a lot of anime and see you in the next video. Goodbye.